In a previous video, the connection and wiring of a six-terminal motor was explained. On this occasion, it will be explained how to connect a nine-terminal or nine-point electric motor. To do this, you can make star connections or delta connections. These electric motors, in general, are divided into six coils inside, from which nine terminals emerge to the outside, and, depending on the power of the motor, these internally can have three terminals connected in star or delta. But let's look at each of these configurations in detail and how to connect the terminals. These motors generally have labels on their terminals from T1 to T9 if it is based on the NEMA standard or have letters U, V, and W if it is manufactured under the IEC standard. A motor with an internal star connection means that the opposite terminals of T7, T8, and T9 are joined or connected internally in the motor. Therefore, the type of connection that must be made is specified on the nameplate, in this case, star. If the terminals are not labeled or marked, you can tell which terminals are connected internally using a multimeter in continuity mode. Where, when measuring, we will find three groups of two terminals and a group of three terminals. If a motor is internally connected in star, then the connection can only be made in the terminal box in series star for a high voltage or in parallel star for low voltage. This means that, on the nameplate, two voltage levels are specified at which the motor can work where, for this example, 460 volts is the high voltage and 230 volts is the low voltage. Let's look at the connection of series star terminals for high voltage. I am considering colors in the cables to know which winding they correspond to. For example, Terminal 1 and Terminal 4 correspond to the same coil, which is why they have the same color. The same happens with Terminals 2 and 5, which are yellow, and Terminals 3 and 6, which are blue. It may also be the case that the cables come in a single color, but depending on the label they come with, the connection that will be explained below can be made. In the lower right part, a 9-terminal plate is shown, which can also have the motor instead of the 6-terminal plate. Let's focus on the terminal board that comes with the motor. To make this connection, cables T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, and T6 must be placed in the order shown. Then, using hex nuts, we can secure these six terminals. The three remaining terminals, whose opposite ends are already joined in star, must be connected T7 with T4, T8 with T5, and T9 with T6. If in this case we have a 9-terminal base, metal plates must be used to join these terminals. Finally, the power terminals Line 1, Line 2, and Line 3 must be connected to terminals 1, 2, and 3 respectively. The protective ground cable must also be considered, which must be connected to the metal part of the motor casing. Now, let's see how to make the parallel star connection, or double Y, which is used when you have the lowest voltage. The cables or terminals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 do not change position, they remain as shown previously. What we need to achieve here is to make a star connection. To do this, you must join terminals 4, 5, and 6 using metal plates. Since we already have the star connection, then we join the three remaining terminals that already have their internal star connection. Terminal 7 should be joined to Terminal 1, Terminal 8 to 2, and Terminal 9 to 3. Finally, we connect the power cables. L1 next to T1 and T7, L2 next to T2 and T8, L3 next to T3 and T9. Keep in mind that the ground protection cable must be added. So, these two star type configurations that you just saw are used in medium and low power electric motors. If the electric motor is internally connected three of its terminals in delta or triangle, then the following types of connection can be made on its external terminals. Series delta type connection for high voltage and parallel delta type connection for low voltage. In this type of connection, its terminals 1 to 9 are connected in the same way as in the series star type. 
Terminals T7 must be joined with T4, T8 with T5, and T9 with T6. Finally, it must be fed from Terminal 1 with Line 1, Terminal 2 with Line 2, and Terminal 3 with Line 3. Now let's look at the parallel delta connection type. In this case, if there is a slight change in the position of the terminals from 1 to 6, which you can observe. In front of Terminal 1 is Terminal 6, in front of Terminal 2 is Terminal 4, and in front of Terminal 3 is Terminal 5. It has been arranged in such an order so that it is possible to use metal plates. Terminals 7, 8, and 9 are connected to Terminals 6, 4, and 5 respectively. The power cables are attached to the first three terminals. In summary, Terminals 1, 6, and 7 must be joined and fed with L1. Join Terminals 2, 4, and 8 and feed with L2. Join Terminals 3, 5, and 9 and feed with L3. So these two delta type configurations that you just saw are generally used in high power electric motors. Well friends, this is the end of this explanation. Remember that on the channel you can find videos of contactors, thermal relays, PLCs, and more types of connections using wired logic. If you want to connect the motor in a direct start and stop, then here I leave you how to make the command or control panel for a three-phase motor which was already explained in a previous video. See you later!